So South by Southwest is so much fun. There's always so much to do here. And uh, you guys are bringing an incredibly fun show. This, this must be a lot of fun to work on, right? It's great. We've, um, we've been in Austin since November and we love the city and to be able to kind of cap off the end of our experience with the show by showing it to everybody at South by Southwest is just a perfect, perfect sort of opportunity. Yeah, Robert, Robert's whole studio, his entire filmmaking career, he started in Austin from El Mariachi, you know, getting $7,000 at UT um, and to, to us today to where he's starting his entire network. It's, it's, it's great to be a part of his creative community here in Austin. Yeah, Austin is, is uh, I think, and I've said this a few times, but Austin has, has the elements of a big city with the humbleness of a small town, and, and that, that has made it for a, a very welcoming uh, scenario for us to, to, have a, to shoot such an elaborate and, and high concept show. Uh, I feel like it, um, you know, it brings the right balance for the production and, and, uh, and the people that work in it. Well, it, were you guys big fans of the, uh, the, for the original film? Yeah, I mean, Here's just you. the film and Robert's work in general and yeah. just the ability to kind of work with somebody like that. He's, he's one of those directors who you can tell, you can watch, you know, 45 seconds of one of his films and know that that's a Robert Rodriguez film. He has a specific vision and a specific sort of aesthetic yeah. style that nobody else has. And that's and the blessing. That's what he's bringing to television. So that's that's the, one of the most attractive things about being able to work on the on the series. Yeah, that's the blessing for us, you know, just to be fans of the world, the film world of Robert's uh, style and his characters and the, the film and uh, the style of Quentin's characters and both, you know, the worlds they create to, to get to come down here and play with that material with Robert uh, in that world is just, you know, it's a dream come true. Well, and then you get to be here at the uh, Titty Twister. Who, yeah. Who well, knew that existed, right? Who knew? Right? Yeah. Who knew? Been there <laughs> well, that's fun. Well, what else do you guys get to do down here while you're here? You're going to get to get some good food, get some barbecue. Are you back on a plane? What a no, we're not. We're not done. We we continue shooting after this. So we we came straight from set pretty much. We were at here, set yeah. at 3 a.m. To, today or 5 a.m. for you, and then we <laughs> we do all this all weekend, and then we go back to set on Monday and and finish off the show. Well, uh, well, what can people look forward to? Can you give us a little uh, little inside, something or another? Is there a certain scene, something that you're working on that you're really excited to reveal? Yeah, well, look, uh, I'm excited for everyone to, to, uh, to a first-hand experience the fact that the pond is deeper than they expected, you know? Um, Robert, uh, you know, Robert took what, that last frame of From Dust to Dawn, that picture where you understood where the Tito Twister was built on, uh, that temple, that pyramid, you know, and really expanded the world to a level that um, you couldn't even imagine actually uh, being pulled off by anybody else but to, by Robert and Quentin Tarantino. Um, from the characters to the action, um, you know, to the premise, to the message, you know, and the journey is something television hasn't seen yet. And uh, to see that energy and to have the cinematography and the, and the concept and, and the direction of Robert is um, it's just a destination you definitely have to experience. Yeah, and such a cool network too. Yeah, man. You know, there's there's got to be stuff that each of you guys enjoy on the Yeah, network. Robert always says content is king and you know, when you watch this network, you can see all of his creative influences, you know, from the the, the hand-picked TV shows to the Grindhouse movies to the old school kung fu movies yeah. to, you know, all, all of Robert's uh, uh, you know, contemporary uh, all his, all his friends and other filmmakers yeah. that uh, influence his work and vice versa, it's, uh, yeah. it's a showcase for all that. It's like, it's straight from his brain. It's like his brain, his vision, boom, right on TV. He curates the whole thing. He has a say in everything that's on the network. So it kind of has that distinct Rodriguez style that people know and love. And, and to have something like that on television, I think is, is great for everybody who's a fan of his work. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Thanks, and uh, looking forward to seeing the show. Thank you. Thanks so much.